Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing some equipments which you can probably guess from the title of this video already. There are a lot of um, Ninja 5 unboxing videos on YouTube already, so I'll keep it short and only concentrate on the important details. When you buy the Ninja 5, you only get the monitor and the power adapter. There are a few other things that you also need to get in order to use it, so I'll be unboxing them in this video. In addition, I'll also show you how to set up the brand new SSD on a PC so that you could use it right away. Anyway, I picked this up because Adamus is doing a promo right now and if you check back my last couple of videos, you'll see that I've already owned a budget field monitor. However, there are a few things that I do not like, but most importantly because I'm shooting a Nikon Z6, hence I'm really interested in shooting the 10-bit 422 ProRes videos. Another tip I've realized after setting up the Atomos on my Z6 is that you can actually save the camera settings on custom user setting under U1, U2, or U3. After that, you don't have to repeat the same process again. Right off the back, I like how the box is open using the magnetic pull tab as you can see. The monitor itself, it's in the um, stereophone. Underneath it, there's the um, user manual, which I don't think I'm going to even open it because everything is online. The next thing you could see is, I believe, um, the adapter for the wall socket. Um, the next packet and the SSD caddy. So let's see what's left in the box. Um, yeah, there's nothing else in the box as you can see. So these are different adapters for when you are traveling. So this is the SSD caddy for the 2.5 inch SSD. Let me put this aside so that I can show you the other essentials um, that I mentioned earlier that you also need. The first one is the HDMI to mini HDMI cable which is used for my Nikon Z6. The second one is the um, hot shoe, or should I say cold shoe adapter mount for the monitor. Then this is the 2.5 inch, one terabyte Western digital SSD. Let me open it and show you guys. Um, this model is recommended by Adamos on their website. So um, if you were to if you plan to get this, I would go with this for the reason that it's quite cheap as well compared to other brands like um, Sandis, although um, they are manufactured by the same factory, I think. Um, so this is the 2.5 inch SATA connection to um, USB 3.1 or USB-C cable that you also need to connect the SSD to your computer.
Oh, it's a bit re it's a bit hard to remove, so I'll, unfortunately I have to rip them apart. Apologies for that. I didn't go with the Edamos um version because they are really expensive, and to be honest, they are only like SATA interface to um, USB three point one. So I don't see a need to pay extra for it because the speed is just going to be the same. So the way it works is that you can see the SATA connection can just connect itself. And then the other end, just plug the USB 3.1 to your USB port. And the reason why I got this is because it comes with a USB C to 3.1 adapter, which I could use on my um, Surface Pro 7 if I need it. Next, I'm going to show you other recommended accessories. These are not essential, bear in mind, but um, it will make your life much easier. The first thing is the um, NPF batteries. You could actually run it off the power supply but you don't want to be trailing you know cables and it will limit where you place your monitor hence um, i've gotten this npf sony npf battery and the reason why i got this particular model is because of this function so by pressing one button you can instantly see how much capacity is left furthermore um, this battery can be recharged um, through micro USB and this can also act as a power bank as you can see there. What this means is that you don't really have to carry an extra adapter just to charge this battery. So you can see that it can be charged by pretty much any USB um, sources. And this is the 7000 800 milliamp version pretty heavy but it will last longer um the next accessories that i'm going to be recommending it's the extra cold shoe mount so once the monitor is mounted on the hot shoe of the camera i would recommend getting this whole this cold shoe so that you could uh, mount it on top of the monitor as you can see that gives you the extra you know cold shoe to mount um, lights or even microphone lastly I tend to look after my stuff and this is quite an expensive monitor so I've picked up the anti-glare screen protector when you first um, got the SSD it will need to be initialized before the Atomus 5 can recognize it so I'm going to show you the process to do it on a Windows platform to start Search for this management. The drive should be picked up by the um, computer automatically, which in this case you can see is identified as this two. So I'm going to select MBR because it's more widely recognized by all versions. So you could see it has been initialized. So what you need to do is convert the disk so once it has been initialized what you need to do is select this drive click new simple volume and use the wizard just leave it as default so the important thing to note is that Atomos said that the drive Atomos will only recognize XFAT. So what you need to do is select the this one. So I'm going to leave everything as default other than changing this file system to XFAT. And what I'm going to do is click finish and allow it to do its work. And as you can see, the drive has been initialized and formatted to allow Ninja 5 to read it. That's it. Hope you find this useful. And as always, feel free to like and consider subscribing if you would like to see more contents like this. Thank you.